Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and use the Spark AR toolkit for Blender. Because some people has problems with the size of their 3D object. Because if the 3D object has too many triangles and vertices, the Spark AR won't accept it. So here on the Spark AR webpage, you can search for Blender here and find this page, Spark AR toolkit for Blender. And here in this page, there's this button here, Spark AR Toolkit, and you click on there. You download this toolkit here. It's a zip file. Here in the page, you can find also how to install it and how to use it. Okay, now that we download it, it's here. You're going to open Blender, right? Open Blender and in Edit, go to Preferences here. And when you open your Preferences, you click in Add Ons here. And after, you're going to click in Install this button here. You're going to find your zip file. In my case, it's in my desktop. So you can click here and press install add-on since i already have it i don't need to do this step now but it's that simple you just click there and the add-on is going to be installed okay after you install it you're going to find it here in this menu if you can see it you can press n on your keyboard and it's going to show up here so Spark AR Toolkit, you click there. In this case, you only have this simple object with 12 triangles. But if you had an object with many triangles, we would have the option to reduce it. So I'm going to show you with another object so that you can see the process. So I have this hat here, this cowboy hat. And it has 92K triangles. And you can see here the exclamation sign telling us that the triangle count doesn't meet the requirements to be used on Spark AR. So you need to reduce the number of triangles. And you can do this by clicking here and choose, for example, oops, 50%. You tap 50 here. And then click on Apply. See, the number of triangles we have was reduced in half. We had 9 something, now we have 46k. It's still too much, but we can use it. But the recommended is to use one count that this exclamation mark here doesn't show up. So we can reduce a little more. And you can always check if the when we reduce the quality of our image is still, it is still acceptable. So it looks okay still. So I can reduce more 50%. Click apply. See now you can see the sign here telling us that everything is okay. So you can apply the cleanup mesh. The height is okay too. This object has 21 centimeters. And I think the limit is 4 meters, something like this. I'm not sure. And here you can choose where the pivot point is going to be, center or bottom. See, here's the, at the bottom of our object. If you want to center, click here. Then it's going to be the pivot point. And now you can export mesh. You click export mesh and your mesh is going to be exported. Click here. Let's save it. Okay. That's it, very simple, it's pretty easy, and your object is already here, ready to be used on Spark. So I'm gonna open here this head decoration template, and I'm gonna drag our head.
to our project. It's right here. I'm gonna put this on our project. Get this farm. And that's it. Our head's here. We just need to fix it, but it's opening. Before it couldn't open because it had too many triangles, but now it's perfectly fine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's just a simple quick hint and see you next time.